when I go back to uh, my early childhood, when I was around um, four years old, I didn't really have an idea about gender diversity issues, and I didn't know what gender incongruence was. And um, but all I know was um, where I lived, my best friend was a little girl around the corner, and um, we used to hang out all the time. She was my bestest friend, and we used to go to ballet together. Now I'm um, I'm a twin. I've got I've got a twin brother, so. Um, he never used to go to ballet. It was just I know from what my mum said, it was just me. That was my earliest exp earliest um, recollection of maybe I was a little bit different because I always wanted to hang around with the girls, always um, wanted to play dress up and and um, when I went to secondary school, we went to a boys' grammar school in the local town, and uh, that was really traumatic been put in this big giant school, 900 pupils, all boys, and I didn't feel like I fitted. But I do remember that um, I was um, really into pop music. I loved Kylie Minogue and, <laughs> and Madonna. And, and um, what it was, I think looking back now, um, it was more of an affinity, like I talked about with this little girl before I went to school. and. In secondary school, there was an affinity to other girls or women that I looked up to, and I wanted to be like them. I didn't fancy Madonna. Uh, I, I, I liked the fact that she was bullshit, and uh, I liked her music. And the same with Kylie, I didn't fancy her, but there was just something about them that drew me to them.